our first guest, uh, uh, you might know him from Limitless or uh, from the Marvel Universe, it's Corvus Glaive. He is uh, the master builder and the mercenary with the heart of gold, head of the Commonwealth Security. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Michael James Shaw. Thank you. Guys, it's like looking in a mirror. It's crazy. I get mistaken for him all the time. And see, we're two different people, so just so, just so you know. And joining us also, she was supposed to be a surprise guest because originally we were supposed to have Michael Shaw up here and I was going to talk to him and then I, I was going to say, hey, we have a surprise fan and wants to meet you. But the princess is out of the bag and she decided to join us and just be a regular full-fledged guest. Uh, she, uh, she is Puerto Rico's finest. Please welcome up your, Her Highness Princess Paulo Lazaro. Wonderful. You said Puerto Rico's finest. I hope my mom heard that. Yeah. Oh, we'll let her know. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Please have a seat. I mean, we could do the standing, but I'd rather oh, sit down. Oh, you want yeah. us to sit down? That's okay. No, it's your show. It's our show. Uh, I don't okay. know. Okay. You, you're a good host, though. Oh. You were making me laugh back there. Oh, okay. Well, go back there. Then I can keep oh, making you yeah. laugh. Because yeah. once we I'll get out of here, it's all, it's all downhill. I love having a mic in front of me for some reason. It, no, it's, it's, it's feels, empowering. It's very it official. feels like, uh, like we're going to talk about very serious things. I consider this a press so conference. I'm going to start acting serious. Yeah. 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 Yeah, consider this a press conference, and all these people have questions. They want to know, you know, if you're taking your talents to South Beach or if you're going to stay with your current crew. Not sure. All right. I see you already got it down. Uh, first of all, um, thank you guys, both of you, for, for being you. here. Thank you for having us. Of yeah. course. This is the first time that we've got... <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I Don't have apologize. If you, if you need to break into some know, Whitney and just... I don't know. Uh, uh, what do we do? Uh. I don't remember our song. Oh. They have a song, folks. Um, th th Don't you want to be more than friends and hold me tight and don't let go. Don't, don't let go. You got the right to lose control. control. Don't let go. My voice is a little raspy because I've been... And that's our time, folks. Good night. <laughs> See... And anyway, that brings me, <laughs> anyway, well, see, that brings me to uh, one of my first questions because um, you guys have been uh, linked, and ever since like the Commonwealth Ball, when Princess tried to break in and Mercer, who does she's with, she's with me, and they're like, all right, yes, yes. and see, I'm, I'm just got to take a breath. She took off her jacket. Sorry. <laughs> got to compose myself. Looking for day, huh? You know, it is yes. what it is, y'all. But we, it's been a while since we had a power couple on the show. And so when she walked in, arm and they walked in arm and arm, like, do you prefer Minces or, or Mercer's? Minces? I never even heard Minces. Yeah, yeah, no, we have a power couple name. So right, 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 are you right. uh, well, Prince or? Originally, we had thought Prince Prince sir. Prince sir. Yeah. yeah. But it seems like Mercis. it's become Mercis. Yeah. And y I mean y'all are, are the, the, the It's your people. choice, it's you your know, choice. like So we go with whatever you think. Prince sir. Can we get a vote? Yeah. yeah. How many yeah. how many for yeah, how many for Prince sir? How many for Prince sir? Like the parliament. Wait, wait. Okay. Wait, wait, what, what are you guys voting for? We're Prince sir. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. We got to we got to establish a balance okay. first, Hands you know, up like. for Prince sir. Isn't. Anybody good at counting? Okay. No, well, we just um, do a compare and contrast. How many for Mercer? Mercer. 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 Sorry. Well, uh, not because I messed up the name. That's why. There. Okay. Okay, Princer, it is. Right. So now you got to tell that to the internet. <laughs> yes. So we'll, we'll take it either way. Start typing right away. Uh, Michael, I want to ask you first because I've been a fan of yours for a long time. And you have unique, you're in a unique position. You have your feet in two different camps of rapid fans. You're part of the Marvel Universe. For those of you who don't know, he was Corvus Glaive in Infinity War and in Endgame, Woo! covered under a lot of makeup and CGI, but still is a huge character in both of those movies. And now you find yourself in The Walking Dead with, with another rapid fan base. Did the Marvel Universe prepare you for The Walking Dead Universe? Uh, 
I, I honestly can say no. Um, the Walking Dead fans are uh, a beautiful group of people, man. Look and at them. The, the family extends like so wide. I'm so happy to be a part of it and, yeah. and, and join the crew. Yeah. Yeah, that was it's a good true. answer. Um, Paul, I want to ask you this. Yes, sir. I, and I, I apologize. Um, I was running my mouth out here so much, I didn't even give out the rules and regulations. Um, we have a mic over there for people that have questions, and I was going to get, I was going to talk first to get my stuff out, and then I turn it over to you guys. And then before you ask a question, you have to say your name, and then we can all say hi to you. It's more familiar to each other, so we're all family here. But before I get to you, I wanted to ask you this. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> um, you said, um, you said on an interview that your character, Princess, was you as a kid. Absolutely, sir. And <laughs> I wanted to know how you feel now when you see so many kids dressing like you on purpose and wanting to be you. Because I've never, and this is my personal, uh, what I've seen from coming from Philly to Atlanta and all sports in between. Walking Dead cosplay is easy because like I can put on a hat and say I'm Carl or I'm Rick or something like that. When people dress, when girls and young men dress like you, they're you. They don't yeah, only yeah, just yeah. dress like you. They talk like you. They, they don't play act around. Like they you. don't play around. I, we had a thing up in Philly last year with can our, our walk or Walking Dead was canceled. So we had a, a, a premature like a uh, impromptu get together and we had kids dressed up like you like princess Aww. and there was a little girl sick she was my neighbor's child the gun she was holding oh, was hey, bigger oh than her <laughs> but she and her mom was like honey let me and she goes no and she because she was oh, princess she, she, she had like, the attitude had and everything she believed how do you feel knowing that you've touched so many lives and that who you were as a kid made is the princess character but now there's kids out there acting like you on purpose um, well, I used to get into a lot of trouble when I was a kid because I was very hyper and, you know, I, I was told that I wasn't ever going to do much with my life because of always getting in trouble. Um, and so being able to be on a show where my character speaks about mental health and opens that conversation up is a, a, an ex like a huge honor for me. And when I get fans who come up to me and say, thank you for the episode Splinter because you spoke about things that I've gone through. Uh, it gets it gets emo it gets me emotional, but um, it's a huge blessing and and it feels like every obstacle that I had in my life and every no that I had in my life brought me to this moment to be able to somehow inspire others and to make them feel less alone by talking about these topics and representing this character the way I do. Thank you for that. Thank you. And you're doing it. Before I hand it over to the fans, you've been waiting for a while, so you can wait another minute. Um, uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm kidding. It's, it's your show. I'm kidding. Uh, but I wanted to congratulate you, Michael. You just got your third strike, uh, third stripe in what uh, form of self-defense? Oh, I've been uh, practicing Gracie Jiu-Jitsu uh, combatives. It's kind of like my um, my personal goal for myself this past year. Yeah. And yeah, I got my third stripe uh, a month ago. Congratulations. Woo! Yeah. And you need that, too, because when you're as um, unimposing as this person, there's people <laughs> always trying to fight him constantly. So you need that. But um, this, you found this during the during the pandemic. It's something you wanted to. Yeah, to, it's something I discovered. Um, uh, I've always wanted to take some martial art. And I think uh, jujitsu is um, it's a bit opposite. It's yeah. about um, being mm -hmm. in a compromising position and remaining calm. Right. Mm. Um, like I am now. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Myself as well, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's kind of just taught me to, to lay back and, and not panic, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it kind of infiltrates through a lot of parts of my life. Okay. Have we, are we going to see any of the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu three-stripe defense that you have in the show? That's a good question. To be told. To be told. Mm -hmm. We got to holler at Monty. Yeah. Watch this Sunday. Watch this Sunday. He's going to be doing Jiu-Jitsu on somebody <laughs> tomorrow night. Watch. That's exactly what's going to happen. Okay. Um, I love to keep on talking, but it's time to play our game. Um, oh. Whoop. Yes, bonus round. <laughs> Hi, you're the first one there. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so my oh. name is... Oh, you got to say your name. What's your oh, name? I was going to. I'm sorry. I was getting to it. Oh. Um, so hi, my name's Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Emma. See how this works? <laughs> <laughs> and um, my question is for both of you. So um, while living in the Commonwealth, uh, what pet, if you could have any pet, do you think that your characters would have? 
Hmm. I got my answer. What? Well, yeah, due to my work schedule, I probably wouldn't be able to have a dog. I would love to have a dog. Um, yeah, you do work a lot in the Commonwealth. <laughs> but this is my question. Can you get me a little cat? Maybe. Yeah. That was our second date, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get me a little cat. See, you had Komodo Dragon written all over you. I thought that was going to be your Komodo first time. Dragon. Anyway. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. And I would love to see Princess with a cat. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate that. Write to AMC. Tell them, please. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Next. Tell the internet. My Hi, name is Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. She's been so supportive of me. The moment I got cast, this woman right here, we've never met in person. This is the first time I could cry right now. I'm already going to cry. She and her daughter have been absolutely amazing to me. So thank you for being here, dear. I'm so excited to meet you. <laughs> hold Athena's up, hold up, hold zoo, up. by the way, with her dad. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> you didn't have to say anything. You already get a, you already get a gift because you're fans with Paula. Oh, thank you. So much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you, much. Dude. That's awesome. I already feel like such a crazy fan, so I, I know a lot of things. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, the show is coming to an end, and you guys kind of just got here, unfortunately. Um, I, I need, I'm going to write an angry letter about that. I uh, want a spinoff, but um, <laughs> what do you envision for your future? Like, what do you want the ending to be for your character, for both of you? Hmm. I, I don't want YouTube. an ending for my character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. Sorry. But with it being the apocalypse, right. I, I just hope that um, our characters uh, are happy and, you know. Uh, together. And together. <laughs> we can't say that. <laughs> you guys can say it. Happy and enjoying each other's company, you know. Um, and on the count of three. That was you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't said nothing. But I think that's uh, what most of the, the characters in the show are, are striving for, some sort of um, you know, comfort in a world that uh, offers none. You know? Right. Um, so you just both want to be happy. Because see, I pictured you two getting in a car and just riding up into the air, and you look down Let's and do see the... Let's do the spin-off, Bonnie and Clyde, Mercer yeah. and Princess. Oh. Uh, I see you and Bonnie and Clyde, I was thinking Greece, the end of Greece. You guys just yeah, get in the car yeah, and yeah. just drive okay. off and just <laughs> oh, yeah. see the happiness. That's the happiest Where ending I could into, see. Yes, into the that's sky. the happiest ending I could see for you two, <laughs> yeah. the Greece ending. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Wonderful. Hey, Carl. Hey, I'm Carl. sorry. <laughs> I'm not Carl, I'm Judith. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Dude, I just Blind. followed your lead, man. <laughs> I messed up. Hey, Judith. No, the, hi. The, the, hi, Judith. It was the mask that messed me up. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Finley. Finley. Hi, Finley. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a question for Paula. Yes. Um, so when you like first came to the Walking Dead universe, uh, one of the major things I remember is uh, when we first met you, there were like zombie scenes, like on cop cars like tied up in chairs and stuff yeah. what were your original thoughts when they were like hey so you're gonna be doing scenes with like zombies tied up i read the script and i was like this is heaven this is a dream come true like the script was so specific the writers were so specific about what they wanted the the zombies to look like and their actions that they want there's the one in the scooter i believe there was one that princess had tied up to a fence that was like a skater zombie, and she had put like a skateboard underneath. I don't know if it was actually in the show, but they had all these ideas, and when I got to set and saw them, it was, it was like being in Disneyland. It was the <laughs> coolest thing. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Finley. Thank you, Finley. I'm sorry I messed up your name. Hello. Judith. <laughs> Judith. I'm not Judith. Oh, man. I'm Carl. Oh. Yes, well, that's what got me messed up. That's what got me messed up. Hi, Carl. I mean, call I'm not there. actually Carl. I'm just in love with Carl. Oh. Like, I hugged him and everything. He okay. said to Haley, Haley is my name. Hi, Haley. Oh. Haley is your name. Hi, okay. Haley. Did you want to ask a question to Carl, or, or did you want <laughs> to? He's not here, I don't think. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I have a question for Paula. Yes. Um, so when you came to the show, it was already like 
being produced for a while. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you had a hard time connecting to any of the cast members. Absolutely not. <laughs> because um, I'm generally like get along with everybody. Um, and they actually, Josh, Kari, Eleanor, and a couple of people took me out to dinner the day before I got to set. Um, because they wanted me to feel welcome and to meet them before we did all those crazy scenes. So they took me out to dinner and paid for it and just treated me to food and, and just were like so kind to me and welcoming and everybody, including the crew, the background, everybody behind the scenes just have been so welcoming that it makes you feel comfortable with that. And if you come prepared, which I was, then you got nothing to, to worry about. All those nerves go away because you know you're here for a reason, you know you worked hard for it, so let's go. Okay, I, I have one more question. Do it. When you first started acting, did, like, how did you start the process? Um, it, I wasn't supposed to. I was a writer, you know, I did my master's in writing scripts and my undergrad too, and then I hung out with the Cedar Company and they would put me on stage, and I was like, y'all, I don't want to do this. <laughs> and I would be on stage like this. <laughs> and then they kept putting me up, and I was like, y'all, for real, stop, really. And then finally, I got to the point where I was like, okay, let's go, you wanna do the play? Let's do the play, let's do the reading, come on, everybody, let's do it. And from then on, like, I didn't stop, and I fell in love with it. You know, I wanted to be an actor when I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut, like, just, and then I saw Apollo 13, remember that? <laughs> the vomit that was flying, because one of them vomits. When I, when I saw that movie, you haven't seen that, you're too young. But when I saw that movie and I saw the flying vomit, I was like, I don't want to be an astronaut no more. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I got into it. She can still see the movie, I mean, it's... No, but she hasn't seen it, right? No, no but it's not. <laughs> no. No, but you gotta movie. watch Apollo 13 just to see like, the, the, the floating vomit. Yeah. I was like, I'm definitely not going to space. Okay, the, the, Haley, the movie exists because it came out before you were born. And please don't see it for the flying vomit. I've seen it's the teachers blow oh. up. Okay. It was very traumatizing. Oh, yeah. Don't watch it then. Don't watch yeah, it. Yeah, I won't. It's not is it again. a good movie? Apollo 13? Yes. 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 Nominated for three watch. Oscars. I yes. I, oh. Tom Hanks. That, that doesn't mean much nowadays. But, uh, <laughs> um, but... I, I only remember the flying vomit, man. Yeah, Ed Harris, it was, it, it was a part of American history that really resonates for the people that were there because this Apollo 13 was the first uh, moon uh, rocket ship that wasn't televised because we had done it so many times right. that it was commonplace. But this one, everything went wrong. You're so really they, passionate about this. <laughs> well, because, it, no, be, I'm saying in American history because we, this is, New, the space race was new to us, and we had done 12 Apollo missions, but the 13th one uh, was bad, so we didn't know if That's they were- That's Houston, we have a problem, right? That yes. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was number yeah. 13. Yeah. And oh, so, one, three. But it was a nationwide, and there was no cable back then, so we didn't know if they were ever coming back. Wow. So the, the concern was that these, we sent these brave men up here, and they're going to die. I'm going to be watching now. There's no way. So it's more than flying vomit yeah. is my point. <laughs> it anyway. actually was a Best Picture nomination, and it still resonates as one of the best film ever made for outer space. I, I don't know how we got oh. here, but... <laughs> Thank you, Haley. Do you have thank any more you. questions? Because you have a long line of people no, behind you. but thank you. I love your suit. Th thank yeah. you. you could have, well, next time, lead with that. Then I'll have to I go off it. on Apollo 13. <laughs> I'm sorry, Haley. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I will give you this print if you promise to see Apollo 13. I promise. Come up here and get it. <laughs> it's the crow. The late, great Brandon Lee. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Apollo She's 13. going to give it to her dad. Hi, cutie. Look at you. Oh my God, you oh. look good. Jesus Christ, stunning. Is for this? Usually I'm in a, I know that's right, Sarah. <laughs> we make reaction videos, it's like a thing. I'm a part stunning. of the community. Okay. Lord hi, Paula, mercy. hi, Michael. So Hello. I got a question for each of y'all. Uh, what's your name? Michonne. Hi, I thought Michonne. I said that. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. Not Michonne, Michonne. Michonne. If I was Michonne. cosplaying, I would definitely be denied. Yeah. yeah. I definitely would. So what was Princess's state of mind when she was alone by herself in the city for all of that time, and how long was she by herself? Because she was she, very excited to see people. Right, yes, she was. And I've been very curious. Um, she was by herself for a year, approximately, um, uh -huh. and she hadn't seen anybody living. Like, all she had seen were zombies for that whole year. And uh -huh. it kind of felt like what we were all going, it was so weird that my character came out on April 5th, 
not of last year, the year before, mm -hmm. when we were all stuck at home. Yeah. I was living with my parents again. I hadn't lived with my parents since I was 17. So I think she felt like how we were all feeling of like, what's it gonna be like when I'm around people again? Like, and you know, she just wants to make friends and she wants to, to be accepted for who she is. And that's why she's so excited when she sees him. And that's why she's like so wild. And she's like, oh, should I be like this? Or should I be like that? Or should I be like She serious? was trying to hold it in a little bit, but she was like, I love y'all. Yeah, Do you love yeah. me? I love you, Do, can she's I like, come? She's like, come kick it, come <laughs> hang out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it that she said? She, I, I, Put your feet up and then something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and we love her. You can stay forever. Thank now, you, dear. Right Michael, to AMC. <laughs> <laughs> They've hurt me with quite a few deaths. I hope they don't hurt me anymore. It's okay. the end of the show. So I can't almost say anybody anything. can go at this point. Okay. Now I got a question. I want to know, do Mercer get any days off? <laughs> <laughs> and if he do get a day off work, what does an off day for Mercer look like? Completely just detached from the Commonwealth and just be Mercer. Uh, he, he does not get any days off, but I guess an off day would be like going outside of the Commonwealth grounds and just like releasing into some walkers for a yeah. good hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taking off the armor and just going ape shit for about an Fighting hour. Fighting the walkers just raw. You don't care where you get bit. Oh, I'm not getting bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you seen that? That ain't gonna happen. It's a sport, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, you made it this long, so. Right. True, yeah. Exactly. I Thank you, you Michonne. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Michonne. Hello, my name is Laura. Hi, Hi Laura. Laura. I want to say that it's an honor to be here um, and meeting you guys. Um, Puerto Rico in the house. Hey, hey, <laughs> wepa. Ya tu sabes. Thank you for representing, you know, Latinas. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate um, that. And there is, is a particular episode that you guys it was like really hard for you guys and you like doubt yourselves. So I'm like, am I going to get this? Yeah, we, I think we all, no matter like how long you've been on the show, we all have scenes that you guys will see in the episodes that are like extremely hard and emotional. Um, we definitely have moments like that. Oh yeah. Um, A rough day can come out of nowhere, you know? It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Um, but the good thing about this show is like, if you look to your left or your right, you got like an immense amount of support mm -hmm. from cast, crew, um, directors. They're, they they got your back, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I remember early on, I had a panic attack. <laughs> yeah. In one of the early Commonwealth scenes, but looking at it, you couldn't tell. But in that day, yeah, I remember looking at you and like, you helped me down that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, we you know we when we all do scenes, we ask each other, "Do you need anything from me?" Like as the character, like do. you do you need anything for me to do differently in the scene to help you? Like, so we, we check in with each other and it's, it's a really beautiful thing. So the doubt kind of dissipates once we connect with each other. Well, I want to say you are both very talented and thank you. I want to thank you because us autism moms, all we have is, you know, we are 24 seven caretakers right. and all we have is, you know, their entertainment on the TV. So. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Hi. Uh, Hi. I'm Coda. Hi, Coda. Hi, Coda. Hi. Um, so I actually have a question for all three of you. Well, hey. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm including hey. you too. <laughs> Knew this gig would pay off. <laughs> <laughs> so, other than the roles you're currently portraying, uh, is there anyone within the universe would that, if you had the opportunity, would you want to portray? Whether it be in the comic book counterparts or whether it be portrayed on screen. I don't think so. I like my character. I have a blast with it. I mean, Carol is my favorite. Like, Carol and Negan, like. <laughs> but uh, but I, I'm good and comfy over here with my little. <laughs> Pink I'm is your good. color. Pink is your color. You look yeah, good Yeah, I her. like it. I like it. <laughs> I don't think, no, there, there wouldn't be another character. I, even though the sherbet is a little discomfort, uh, discomfort uh, not, not comfortable at all, but I feel like it, it, suits, it suits me. Because um, yeah. I've auditioned for The Walking Dead quite a bit, and this is uh, the one that stuck, you know? Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> You're so cute. You wanted to uh, be included? Probably pink, I would. Pardon? Yeah. yeah, pink, that would be my person, the character I would play if I could. Like pink? Yeah. 
Who do you think I was talking about? Uh, yeah, we're, we're both from Philly. And Pink in The Walking know, Dead. Okay. Yes. Oh, you meant in, like, in The Walking Dead? Yeah. I, just thought, I just thought, oh, I thought you meant in, in general. Okay. I mean, that oh, works okay. too. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. I'll I'm take sorry. that all right. into the <laughs> Let me cancel. Um, no, I, I guess I would probably, um, I would be, um, I'd be Sophia because I wouldn't get bit. <laughs> That's still one of the most heart-wrenching things I've ever seen on right. screen, on television, when she came out of the barn. So you oh, wouldn't yeah. be the counter co comic book counterpart where she survives until the end? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yes. I would oh. be okay. the, the comic book Got Sophia. It. She's still here. <laughs> In the comic, I don't know if anyone reads Walking the Comic Books. It was a comic book first. I don't know if you guys knew that. Um, <laughs> But in what? the in the yeah it was um and, but in the comic book Sophia's still alive and like and and Rick is dead so um yeah big shock it's the comic book has been over for about two years and yeah, right. the show was being so I'm not spoiling anything Michonne thank you though but yeah that's the character I would play I would play uh, Sophia in the comic okay. books if I could I make you. I make smarter choices thank you I love the shirt I love the Spider Man it's awesome thank you very much. Next! Hi, I'm Savannah. Yo, I'm sorry? I'm Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Hey, Savannah. There's a town name after you. Really? Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't just do it. It's been around for a while. Yeah, no, it's been around for a bit. But I actually have two questions for both of them. Okay, so I'm okay. out. Good. So the first one, I'm sorry. So the first okay. one is if The Walking Dead, you know, happened in real time, what character do you think you personally would relate to the most? Think you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, I don't know if y'all have been by my table. It, it's like it's like princess in in life. Like it's yeah. It's just there's <laughs> there's very little separation between the two. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. I love that. Thank I you. So would you still would you still be Mercer? I feel like I'm I'm part Mercer and part Jerry. Like yeah. in this weird world. Um, <laughs> Somehow, that, that, that's the duality of Michael. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Well, the good news is you don't have to change your hairstyle if you're... Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Savannah. Thank you. Wonderful. Hi, my name's Bertu. Your name is what? Bertu. Bertu, Bertu. Yeah. hi. Hi. You look yeah. wonderful. Um, my question was, I was just like shocked when I saw you on screen as princess because you were exactly what I read in the comic books. Oh, like, you, the voice, you. like everything was just exactly what I pictured. <laughs> and I was just curious how much you drew on the comic books, I guess both of you, in your prep for the characters. Um, I feel like it just happened. Like it just, you know, I, I read how she was and but it just so happens that before I auditioned, I had never read it. So my audition, I, I didn't know that I was auditioning for Princess. I did, it just gives you a fake name. And so you don't know what character you're auditioning for. So I did it how I would do it. And if you watch that audition tape and you read the comics after, it's like, oh, it was meant to be. It was, it was absolutely kismet. Like it was, it's... Yeah, someday I'll show you the audition Can't tape. Can't wait, so excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a weird thing. Like, uh, when I auditioned for Mercer, I had no idea who I was auditioning for. Um, yeah. And you just kind of piece it together with what you, what you see on the page. And yeah, it's a weird kind of like kismet kind of thing yeah. when it works out, you know? Well, that's amazing. Can I ask one more question to the three of you? Oh, oh I'm back. <laughs> yes, hit it, get it, hit it. Um, if you could have three people who you know personally in your zombie apocalypse group, who would they be? Three people who we know personally? Who you know in real life, yeah. Do I, who I would survive? I mean, I don't know. I, yeah. Mm. Yeah. For me, one of them's in this room right now, my friend Shayla. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Shayla. I'm sorry to put you on blast, but I, I've known her since like elementary school. It's like my, my homie. Um, that's one. Let's see who else. Does it have to be a real like person in the so universe? Three people or? that we would have in the in the zombie apocalypse. Like, but we know. I'd put my grandma in there, and I don't think she'd really be like a huge asset. But like you can put. Yeah, me. true. Uh, true. No, true. no, I get no. Um, I get um, my ex girlfriend Erica and my old boss Frank. Okay. There you go. They would be the first two gone, and I'd make sure of that. So. Oh. Yeah. That's why I was 
fire. An easy question for me. <laughs> um, so. Let me, uh, definitely can't bring, bring my grandmother. She's wild. Um, uh, la, la, la. My dad's good with like handling money, but there's no money in the apocalypse. So, <laughs> Poppy, I'm sorry. Like, um, who's got guns? Who's got guns? You. you. I got it. Gun. Yeah, he's Look at sitting the right next to me. Yeah. That's one of them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Thank I gotta you think so about. Yeah, you come by my table. Cool. I got the yeah. answers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Too. Next. Hi. 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 My name's Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Bailey. That's a great shirt. Thank you. Thank you. So my question's for Princess. Hi. She's right there. <laughs> so you've been kind of more of an advocate for like mental awareness now do you continue do you plan to continue that like after the show since it ends soon absolutely absolutely i mean i you know i talk about that freely and you know i suffer from depression and anxiety and adhd and the list goes on and on and on <laughs> um but you know i definitely will continue to be an advocate for that and precisely those things that are seem seem like obstacles have made me who I am today. And, and I like to think I'm a pretty good person and I treat people with kindness and respect and compassion. So yes, I will definitely continue to talk about it. How do you plan to like, do you plan to do it more through like? Well, I do it a lot through my writing. So I, I'm, I'm a, I write scripts and I'm doing my play yeah. that I wrote and I'm acting in. If you want, guys wanna come see it, it's in, from May to June in DC, y'all can come say hi to me after the show, but it talks a lot about that, and uh, it's, it's gonna have some pamphlets and stuff about the topic that we talk about in the play, so for everyone to, to have some more knowledge of it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bailey. Bailey, come on, what Bailey. What a great question. That's for you. That was a great question. Yeah, what's DC, the name of the play? Washington, D.C. Thank you. Um, the play is me. called There's Always the Hudson. And the theater is the Woolly Mammoth Theater in D.C. It's a really funky, awesome theater. The play is hardcore. Do not bring your kids, please, and thank you. <laughs> Nobody under 15 should be watching that. So I'm not going. Don't say I didn't tell you that the play is hardcore. Thank hardcore. you. Hardcore. There's a real Woolly Mammoth There's always in the, the lobby. So it's a hardcore. Re- oh, I know. Hardcore. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Hardcore. There's a, there's a real woolly mammoth in the lobby, so that's how you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. That's, that's how, how hardcore, hardcore it is. <laughs> yes. Hi, cutie. Hi. So, oh, me? Or her. I'm yeah, sorry. you. Yes. Come on, lower the mic for her, please, someone. There we go. Hi, my name's Alessia. Hi, Hi Alessia. Alessia. Hi. Uh, I have a question for all three of you. Oh, yeah. Another yes. one. Yes. <laughs> what was your favorite line in The Walking Dead? Line Favorite line Walking in The Walking Dead? Dead? Mm. I think it's got to be, and I'm, I'm going to paraphrase here, but definitely, like, it's, um, I'm, I'm not crazy if that's what you're thinking. I mean, there's the ADHD, the depression, the PTSD, the anxiety, and the crushing loneliness, but maybe that's the only sane response to an insane world. Mm. Yeah. That, that, I think, is my favorite. There's a line that Carol has. Um, it's in reference to uh, the, the church uh, after uh, it's just a room with four walls, kind mm-hmm. of just breaking down the reality of where we are now, right. giving things too much uh, power or right. precedence in our lives. Okay. I thought what, you, what is your yeah. what is your favorite? When you say Carol, I thought you were going to say look at the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite line from The Walking Dead, because it's something I say to myself when I'm uh, when things aren't going well, if I'm having a bad day, uh, it was from R- Rick's last episode, and it's just two words: "Wake up!" Because mm. every time that was said, the entire world, our entire Walking Dead universe, was jarred back into reality because we didn't know what was happening to him and if this was he was real or if it was so yeah wake up is my favorite line because it's what I have to say to myself when it's what I said this morning when I woke up because <laughs> I was supposed to be here at 10 and I got here at 1235 so oh. <laughs> yes so this is real all this the bloodletting and all that real 
and she's putting the jacket back on. <laughs> Damn it. Thank you. Julie. That was a great question. What Thank you. What was your favorite line? Sorry. Uh, yeah, what was your favorite line? My favorite is probably when Judith said that she brought, that she found some strangers that got left back, like in the zombie area. Oh. That's a great line. Well, thank you for your question. Oh, man, I'm out of prizes. Hold on. Wait, stop. Don't, don't go nowhere. She's too cute not to give her something. Aww. Hold on. <laughs> got reserves, dude. Oh, yeah. To go the long way. And see, and just like that, I'm back. See, it's not that far away. <laughs> It's all for you. Okay, this is an art book. Um, probably retails for a lot more money than I'm giving it away because it's free, but it's for you because you had a great question. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. How the hell am I going to get back up here? Uh, Take your time. Can't. It's too stretchy. You stop doing Hi, that. I'm oh, sorry. It, you don't have to apologize. I do, indeed, because <laughs> I turned my back on you and you were getting ready to ask a question, but now I'm back in full host mode and I can give you the full attention that you deserve. I appreciate that. Of course. Hi, my name's David. Hi, Dave. My Hi, question David. is for Michael. Um, we get, yes, sir. We get to watch uh, the interactions now with you and Daryl. I'd like you to speak on that because it seems like there's a lot of love, hate, like you dog on him sometimes, but the way you're looking at him, like, like you got some hopefully big things for him. The relationship with Daryl is interesting to me because I think, uh, so our, our survivors that come into the Commonwealth, there's, um, they tend to take things into their own hands. There's a sense of bravery uh, in terms of uh, when they're taking care of their own. But I think a big part of the Commonwealth is like, can you uh, show that same amount of bravery and love for a stranger? Because the community is a lot larger than the people you came in here with. And I think uh, a big part of what he's trying to get Daryl to understand is, oh, I just want you to, to look at your fellow Commonwealth citizen with the same amount of love and care. And I think he's getting it. <laughs> uh, that, I think that's the bigger lesson in, uh, in like 10 and 12, you know, what, what's happening there. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Thank you, David. Absolutely. Can I give you my favorite line from the show? Please. Yes. Uh, Eugene. Uh, dibs is dibs. That's I love it. That's what <laughs> it and it works in the real life. We got time for two more questions. I'm sorry for everyone behind. We only got two more questions. I'm getting the wrap-up signal. I'm sorry. Yes. Hi, my name is Tanenda, and Tanenda. Um, I spoke with you earlier. Yes, and you did. I, I told you that I've been a fan of Princess since before you even were cast in the show from the comics. In fact, I came to a convention dressed as her and. Ooh. Nobody knew who I was because Bless the show me. hadn't come out yet. Right, right, right. But um, um, I'm also a psychiatric nurse, and I just want to say how much I appreciate the awareness that you've brought to mental illness. I loved how you did the grounding techniques uh, that right. we try to teach to our patients. And uh, I, I do a lot in and out of work trying to reduce that stigma of mental right. illness. So I really appreciate that. And Thank a lot you. of times people think of mental illness as either funny, something they can laugh at because people are hearing voices or something, or they think of it as, oh, this person is so scary, they're dangerous, I'm afraid right. of them. And I was just wondering how you found that balance to be able to make her more real and not part of that stigma. I mean, it's, it's, it's me. It's, it's what I, I mean, it's not the same person, obviously, but it's, it's what I've gone through in my life. So, you know, and, and people have dualities. People, people sometimes are really funny and sometimes they're really quiet and sometimes they're really serious and, and showing that and not showing just one side of her shows that, that we all, we all have, are multidimensional people. Like, so I just try to keep it like that. And, Yes, sometimes she's wild. Sometimes we can all be, I, I, I'm pretty sure y'all can get wild sometimes too. And sometimes you're very quiet and sometimes you're sad and just keeping it that way and multidimensional and not just playing one thing, I think that's the way I, you know, and I take a lot of it from my life, you know? Well, thank you so much for all you do to help fight that stigma. Thank, thank you for your work you do. Thank you for the work you do. Last question. Hi, my name is Fernanda, Hi, Fernanda, and my question is for Paola. Yes, Fernanda. Hi. 
how does it feel representing the Latina, Latinas in the show? It's awesome. It's yes. awesome. Yeah. Uh, my character was supposed to be Mexican-American, but when I got cast in the show, I don't know how I got the ovaries to write to the show and tell them that because there was also already a Mexican-American character who's a strong female woman. A fem <laughs> I wasn't going to say woman? female lead. Female woman. Wow. Uh, <laughs> How because progressive. Because there's already a Mexican-American uh, character that's strong and tough and intelligent, I was like, can we make Princess Puerto Rican? And I wrote that email, and I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Dude, I just got cast. Why would I... And they said yes. Because I wanted, for the sake of representation, to show other um, different types of strong Hispanic women. And so it's, it's, for me, it's a huge honor. And I am forever thankful. And, and it's a huge blessing for, for me us, to be able dude. to do that. Thank yeah. you, dear. Gracias, Fernanda. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah, every time you say something in Spanish, it's just like, yes. Sí, <laughs> sí, sí. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you so much. Um, we could have done this all night, and I feel like I have, but um, we, this has got to be uh, it. You're going to see these two guys tomorrow night on uh, your Who local... Who was giving the wrapping up signal? What? Who was oh, giving the wrapping up I'm signal? I'm not going to rat out That's Gwen. That's my girl. She's, she went <laughs> like this. Yes, Gwen, <laughs> yes. And I, I take my orders from Gwen, and she, she, first she did the this. She did the five. So that means I had to tell you guys we only had two more questions. Then she had, does the Jake the Snake Roberts DDT right, signal. Right, right, right. So then I know I had to wrap it up. Wrap it so, up but wrap I it don't. Up. But obviously I don't want to, and we don't want to because we love you two, and we love doing this, and we, we love y'all. Get a chance to see you like this. So, um, from on behalf of all everyone here, thank you for the work to do. The for, thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for the people who you are. Thank you. And uh, uh. thank you for being part of something that we all love and cherish. Okay, and we're going to remember this. Thank, Thank you, you. Yeah. Paulo Lazaro, you. Michael James Shaw, give it up for Wrap Mercer up. and Princess. Princer, ladies and gentlemen, Princer. Princer, baby. Wrap it up. Wrap Hi, this is Maisie Richardson Sellers, and you are watching Fandom Spotlight. Be a legend and hit that like button, and most importantly, have fun and follow your fandom.